Hello guys, welcome to Merch Benz King. Today we are driving the Mercedes AMG GLE 53 Coupe. And as you can see, today we are in beautiful Zurich in Switzerland. And I will show you the complete driving characteristics of this GLE Coupe. As you can see, we started off in Sport Plus. You can change it with the dynamic select switcher here at the steering wheel. It has in total six different modes. Also the off-road mode like slippery and trail. But we will start in the Sport Plus. And it has a gorgeous steering wheel with a flat bottom, AMG vertical lines and the AMG emblem. Then we can enjoy the full interior quality because this is a great design it feels very thick in the interior a lot of leather stitching and a lot of curves especially here in the center console you have this disconnection from the dash over into the center console and there it has a large storage area with a wireless charging for your phone It also has cup holders which you can heat or cool with a button. And two hand grips which have the ambient lighting within. Amazing. The screen in front of me is 12.3 inches as well as the center console screen. Amazing sound. Let me just tilt the roof again. And there you can see the augmented reality camera up here. And you have to stop for a red light because the tram is approaching on the left side. And you can also see it here on the screen. This is also called the stopping light assist. So when you stop at a crossing, it will broaden the angle so that you can see the stopping light. So that you can see whether the light is green or red. And here it says, watch out for pedestrians because it recognizes a crossing. And a must-have option for the GLE is the panoramic roof. Also with this coupe it is fairly large and you can see a lot. And with the SUV you normally have two parts. But this is why I think the coupe is a perfect fit for the GLE. It is large enough and it doesn't significantly narrow the area inside. Corvette. The 
because for example with this GLC coupe you do notice that in the back seats it is quite narrow for your headspace and the seating position of the GLE is amazing once you have it in the comfort mode you can really enjoy the luxury and the quietness but I have to say this SUV GLE is more comfortable than the coupe and that's because the coupe is 6 cm shorter in the wheelbase which makes it very sportive and great in cornering pops and crackles and because it is Zurich it doesn't take a lot of time before we see an amazing car the Lamborghini and there are of course cops and because the Lamborghini is so low, the police has to basically sit down to watch the car. That's a beautiful S-Class, GTC next to me. And this coupe is actually a competitor of the Lamborghini Urus. Not price-wise, but just the size and performance especially for the GLE 63 coupe and you can also change the display in front of you so if you press the home button you can swipe to the right to Stelzen display and then the Super Sport for example and this completely changes the display and you can show the RPM just a little bit above the consumption display in front of me I can change by pressing the home button and then you have all different options for example the trip radio media but we will go to the Stelzen display and if you change it to sport it will basically change to the same style but a little bit more orange and red and not only the display in front of me changes but also the menu settings of the center console screen. Now we'll change it to a more significant display, which is the Super Sport. And here you have only the RPM. amazing sound and I really love this augmented reality and as you know from the S-Class the arrows for the navigation system will also be in the head of display
so guys i hope you like this video with the mercedes amg gle 53 coupe and i hope to see you guys next time bye bye